Oh, I wish that, that in in, uh, in Crown Heights, for instance, uh, um, there came a time when I assembled the police commissioner and the high command. I said, "Look, whatever you guys are doing, it ain't working, and you you you, you must you must and like that." Now, I am different than Rudolph Giuliani. I never figured I was the police commissioner. It's not my job to tell them whether to use nine millimeter weapons or not, which is a whole controversy around that. I might add. Um, but uh, it is my job when things aren't working to tell them that they're not. And uh, so I wish I had told them that sooner. I wish I had told them that sooner. Uh, then there's the, uh, another thing for which I'm blamed by many is the, uh, the Korean boycott of the uh, Red Apple uh, store. And here was a controversy between a Korean grocer and an African-American uh, customer. And the, the boycott went on for a period of time. There was a uh, went on too long, certainly, and there was a, there were lines, picket lines outside, moved closer than uh, than they should have been. Uh, the court ruled that they they should be back at a greater distance, but uh, we appealed that. And pending the appeal, this was not in place. Some people said I permitted it in violation of the law which just is, isn't true. At, in and around the same time, there were two other similar instances elsewhere in the city, one in Queens and one in Brooklyn, a Korean merchant, African-American customer, and they got resolved in like a day and a half by the same people working for me who were working on the Brooklyn thing. But the Brooklyn thing never got solved because Sonny Carson and two or three other people did not want it to end. And they can every time we were pretty close to resolution, it would blow up all over again. So I wish we had ended that sooner, but we, we did bring about a conclusion ultimately.